are you and your family prepared for the possibility of your water supply being cut off and having to fend for yourself? We hope there's never an interruption in our uh, water supply. At the worst, we, you know, maybe it's just a temporary uh, disruption, but what if you have a long-term or even permanent dis disruption of your water supply? You're going to have to come up with a plan to treat your water or storage and so forth. I have two 30-gallon water barrels, this being one of them. Uh, I put this here uh, many years ago, and the, the idea at the time was for uh, just collect rainwater the water plants. Like we would prefer to use rainwater as opposed to uh, the city water in watering our potted plants and so forth. That's how we got started with this one. All I did was I just cut a hole in the top of it so I could scoop the water out. And the gutter right there, the water just runs right off directly into that hole right there. That's pretty much all there is to it. I need to upgrade this seriously. I really need to cover this hole and, and uh, direct the water straight into that by way of uh, a spout of some type. You can see that gutter right there. That's what fills that barrel up. And one good rainstorm will really put 30 gallons of water in that barrel. It's amazing how much water you can accumulate. And this is my other uh, barrel. Got to sit here by the shed. And you see I actually ran this uh, piece of stove pipe down and connected to this gutter, which only runs just the length of this uh, shed right here. Again, that brings a tremendous amount of water to this, to this barrel. It fills it up completely after a good storm. On uh, both of them, I just drilled a hole, the hole saw in there. I put the uh, this PVC uh, spigot in there so I can get the water out. Still working fine. Uh, the other one, I need to put some blocks under it. The wood that I put under there, they were uh, four by four pressure treated. They've deteriorated, so I need to repair that. There was already uh, an opening in, in this one barrel. I got two of them, actually. So I just run this four inch, this uh, piece of stove pipe right into that one. And there's the other opening here. It's crude, but it works. The two barrels I have were used to hold soap, and uh, I just rinsed them out really good until the soap stopped coming out. It wasn't sudsing anymore. At the time, like I said, I intended to use these for irrigation only, only not really drinking water. But I think this one here, if it comes down to it, I can use this for drinking water because it's much, much, much cleaner than the other one. And uh, of course, I'd have to uh, filter it, which I have a good filter for that. We have plans to get another barrel that will be dedicated for drinking water if it comes to that situation. It'll be uh, clean and drinking water only. And of course, it's going to catch the rainwater. In that situation, we will have to let the rain wash the roof off for a while, get all the dirt and bird poop and stuff off of it. Then we could run it into the barrel to collect for our drinking. And still, we, we would have to uh, filter it before we drink it. Other alternatives would be uh, items like this uh, bowl here, like that over there. Of course, that would have to be washed out to clean it good, but you could set these to catch the uh, runoff off your roof or your shed or wherever it might be. You can really collect a lot of water this way. If you had a number of buckets or any other kind of containers, you could put anything out there to catch water. We had the Sawyer water filter with a uh, bucket connector, so we, we could actually Pour the water into a uh, five gallon bucket and filter it out to the Sawyer filter. Uh, I think that'll work just fine for us. There's many other options, including bleach and you know, all that kind of stuff. You should also consider putting some water away now, a uh, five gallon container or whatever you can do, put it away in a safe place in case there is some event that happens that's unforeseen. You won't be caught off guard. At least you'll have something to get you started until you start collecting some water on your own.